Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to add currency conversion to your WooCommerce website, which will help with user experience and conversions as shoppers will be able to shop in their native currency. So if we check over here, we have it set to Canadian dollars. But then if you click over here, you can set it to US dollars and then it'll convert the currency here automatically. So if this is something you like to learn how to do, then watch this video. So having multi-currency enabled on your WooCommerce store will help improve conversions as if you're selling internationally, customers will be able to switch to their native currency. So it'll just provide a more seamless user experience as when you shop online, you always want to know what you're paying for in your native currency. So again, it's an essential feature when you're selling your products to other countries with different currencies. Okay, so what you want to do first is go into plugins and we're going to install the currency conversion plugin. So go into plugins and then add new. Okay, and then we're going to search currency switcher. Okay, we'll select this one down here. So box currency switcher and click install. Okay, and then we're going to activate. Okay, and then after what you want to do is go here into commerce and then go into your settings. Okay, and then now we have this new tab over here called currency. So after you installed that plugin, but again, if you don't, you're not seeing this, then just make sure that you enable the plugin. Okay, and then you click into this. Okay, and just before you set this up, just make sure you have your address set up as well as your currency options here, as well as a payment method. Okay, and then go here into currencies. Okay, so here's our currency. So what you can do is add more currencies if you want here. Okay, so just in the free version, they only allow two currencies. So again, you can upgrade to the pro version if you want more. So we'll just stick with Canadian and US to start. Okay, so let's just check out the plugin here. So we have our currency, so you can add that, update the rates here. They'll provide real-time updates. Okay, so we have our currency. So this is the native currency you have. And then over here is where you can get the currency data. So again, if you're familiar with any of these, but I'll just stick with the default ones. Okay, and then you can just fill these out if any of these applies. So I'll just scroll down. Okay, so I think just what they have by default is fine. You can see advanced here, so you can do multiple currencies at once. Okay, so again, you can just look through these. If any of these apply, then you can enable them. Okay, so if you wanna set any specific IPs to have a certain currencies, then you can set that here, so say if for some certain countries you want it to be US only, then you can apply those IP addresses here. Okay, and then designers, so this is just how it will look like. So again, I'll just stick with the default to save time. Okay, and then this is just the side switcher and then their help is over here. Okay, so now let's just apply this before we look at the pro version. So I'll just open this up in a new tab. Okay, and then over here we have our styles. Okay, so we'll just keep it by default here. So just this DD Slate dropdown. Okay, now let's go to our store. So visit store. Okay, and then click into one of our products. Okay, so go here into edit with Elementor, and then I'll just add in that short code. Okay, so I'll just add the widget here in our header, because I'm using Elementor, but if you have say another theme that has widgets, then you can just import the widget through that. So I'm just going to add in the short code. So I'll just add it up here. I can just add it to this section here. So I'll just do short code. Okay, and then what you need to add is W-O-O-C, S, and then close that off. Okay, and then publish this. Okay, and then let's view our shop. Okay, great, so we have up here our currency converter. So we can update this here. So we just need to add the flags as well. So you can click USD here and awesome.
So now it's changing the price here as well. So we'll click into one of the shirts. Okay, and then I can change the currency here. So now it's in USD. And then I can change it back to Canadian here. Okay, so I'll just change up the design here. So just go here into dashboard. And then back into WooCommerce and settings. And then currency. Okay, and then you can click these ones here. So let's just say not style drop down and see what that looks like. Okay, so this looks a lot cleaner. So it's just a standard drop down. So we can just click between here. Okay, and then it's still converting the currencies here. Okay, great. So we're able to set up multi currency on our website just to allow for a more seamless user experience for international customers but again they'll still be billed in your native currency it's just during the shopping process that they'll see approximately how much the currency conversion will be okay and then let's just look at the pro version so you can click the pro version here and then you can buy a pro version for 36 us and then again you'll have access to unlimited currencies as well as additional features like GOIP rules and access to their API. So if you're satisfied with the free version, then you can upgrade to the pro version in order to add more currencies. So this includes the end of the tutorial. I hope you're able to follow along and set up currency conversion on your WooCommerce store. If you need additional help, then you can contact me at mapletmedia.ca. And if you're looking to stay up to date with my videos, then you can like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.